Sometimes the news stories that I cover suck, and I hate doing them. This is an example of that. Illegal immigrant charged with rape of a five-year-old girl in Long Island. This is a terrible story. I hate to cover it, but it's stories like this, especially at a time like this right now, that is actually, I think, important that I do. The American election, a, a mere handful of days away. One side is very much for a closed, secure border. The other side is very much open and says, come on in, everybody. It doesn't matter who you are. We've got joy and free stuff. Do follow me at Third Ralify on YouTube, on Twitter, and on Rumble. I do all my live streaming on Rumble. So there's uh, more content there. A lot of hilarious stuff that I uh, can't put on YouTube. So. Check that out if you're not there, but just follow me anywhere. That's appreciated. Thank you. All right. An illegal immigrant has reportedly been arrested and charged for the alleged rape of a five-year-old. This bothers me because I have a five-year-old, a six-year-old, a five-year-old, a four-year-old, and an almost three-year-old. So when I think about my kids and them being harmed, it's, you know, it's, it's, like, a, it's like a stake into the heart. It's awful. So charged for the alleged rape of a, of a five-year-old girl in Nassau County in Long Island, New York. And if this wasn't already bad enough, here is the, here is the kicker. The kicker is this, this dude was arrested already. He was arrested. ICE had him. The suspect accused was cut loose after crossing the border. The, the very sparse border patrol that occasionally arrests people here and there. Uh, they caught him. They had him. They caught him. He was arrested. And then they were like, nah, it's fine. Everything's fine. It's all fine. You, sir, you have a trusting face. Obviously, you won't go rape five-year-old girls. You just go on into the belly of America. It'll be fine. Wilson Castillo Diaz, 26 years old, accused of raping a five-year-old girl. He was arrested for attacking her on October 16th, according to police from Nassau County, the New York Post reported. Details regarding the alleged crime were not immediately available for the outlet. The young child was taken to hospital after the attack occurred earlier this month. I wonder if the specifics of the attack are too gruesome to be reported on or to be released or whatever. That's just speculation. I'm only wondering. Diaz had been living in Westbury, New York, in the area of Long Island and crossed into the country under the o Obama administration in 2014. He was able to cross the border in Texas near the Rio Grande. Police told the outlet he had been taken into custody but was later released after being given a notice to appear in an immigration court. He did not ever show up for his immigration hearing. The police told the Post. That is one of the things that we have sort of heard about, right? Is that they, they come in, they're given a hearing that's like 10 years out, and then they just never show up. And they're like, oh, oh, well, they're in, they're in the country somewhere. It's fine. Immigration and Customs Enforcement uh, has been informed of his arrest. Police told the outlet, but authorities did not mention where the suspect was from. Diaz was arraigned earlier this week on Wednesday and handed down a number of charges. He was charged with rape in the first degree, attempted rape in the first degree, and endangering the welfare of a child. He was arraigned in First District Court in Hempstead, a police release has said. The release added, Detectives request that if anyone feels that they may have been a victim from this individual, they should contact Nassau County Crime Stoppers at 1-800-244-TIPS or the Special Victims Squad 516-573-4022. Diaz is being held on $200,000 cash bond, but I say why not just toss him in that wood chipper that we put in the diddlers? The report adds to a number of other high-profile cases that have made headlines about illegal immigrants coming to the country and then later committing violent crimes. You know, like um, hmm. who was that girl? Oh, right, Lincoln Riley. Or Jocelyn Nungary. There, there's all manners of, of young ladies 
that have been horrifically, violently um, murdered or raped or, you know, whatever. There's all, all kinds. And it's because of these open border policies. Now, 200 retired DHS officials endorse Donald Trump. They slam Kamala on her border failures. But more than 200 retired officials from the Department of Homeland Security have endorsed Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump for president in an open letter that urges all Americans to support him. They argue that Trump believes in ensuring the safety and security of the United States and that the Biden-Harris administration has increased mass illegal immigration. The letter argued that Trump used border security methods that were both effective, only to see these measures systemically dismantled by the Biden-Harris administration, which immediately worked to soften border policies on illegal immigration. But also, they asked the illegals to come. They were like, surge the border. Why would you say the words surge the border if you didn't want that exact thing to happen? Those who signed the letter include the former director of Immigration and Customs Enforcement, Tom Hallman, and former director of Customs and Border Protection, Rodney Scott. The officials noted that other issues are moot points if America forfeits its national security. The single most important factor when evaluating the candidates should be ensuring the safety and security of the United States. Of the countless issues to consider, every one of them is dependent upon our national security. Right? You, you want free health care? Well, you can't have it if you don't have a country. You want, what, you want abortion? Well, you can't have it if you don't have a country. And borders make up a country. All of this, oh, we don't need borders, blah, blah, blah. Well, then you don't have a country. It's basically the Wild West again. So although Harris has spoken about a need to improve border security, in a recent interview with Telemundo, Harris appeared to advocate for amnesty for illegal immigrants in the U.S. At his rallies, Trump has promised that violent illegal immigrants will be deported if he is re-elected as president. Donald Trump, as as promised, the largest uh, deportation effort in American history, he did say, well, we're going to start with the police. Like, we're not going to be able to get everybody. Some people are going to integrate really, really well. Not everybody, though. Many are going to be like real bad apples committing crimes, and they'll be arrested. When they are, boom, arrested and deported. Now, last little story here. Trump to take down DHS-funded billboards advocating for free legal services for illegal border crossers if elected. I can't even believe this is a thing because here we have a story about a, an illegal migrant who raped a five-year-old girl. And then we have the Department of Homeland Security who has, f uh, they're funding billboards saying, hey, illegals, come on over. We'll give you free uh, legal services. It'll be great. Former President Donald Trump expressed outrage Tuesday that the Biden-Harris administration is using billboards to advertise free legal services to family members of illegal immigrants spending time in Border Patrol custody. He says, Kamala is running a, is now running billboards near the border advertising free legal services for illegal alien criminals. When I win, the billboards are coming down and the migrant gangs are going home. Wow. All right. So the sign says your brother in immigration custody has rights. The DHS Office of Immigration Detention Om Ombudsman has set up a billboards in Texas saying, your brother in immigration custody has rights and we're here to help, according to Fox News. The OIDO is an independent office where complaints can be made about the conditions at immigration detention centers. The DHS says Congress created the ombudsman to independently examine immigration detention to promote safe and humane Conditions, including addressing complaints related to the conditions of non-citizens 
and immigration detention. However, Fox News says sources within ICE and uh, Customs and Border Patrols, the CBP, are, are telling the news outlet that they are livid with the DHS for spending money on aid to illegal immigrants while the federal department can't find money in its budget to enforce the border. It's like, oh, I see. So uh, you, you found a bunch of money. You said you didn't have any, but you found it. Then you gave that money for legal aid for the illegals that shouldn't be here. But you have none of that money for the people actually trying to keep the illegals out. Weird how that happens. Of course, that's the craziness that you'll get in a Kamala administration. So according to a report from the Washington, D.C.-based nonprofit uh, Federation for America Immigration Reform, or FAIR, they, you could tell they really wanted that acronym to be FAIR. Federal, state, and municipal governments paid $150 billion for costs surrounding illegal immigration in 2023. You could have taken some of that money. Maybe you could have, I don't know, fixed the uh, the water in Flint, Michigan. <laughs> you could have built the wall from sea to shining sea with a moat with alligators in it. You could have uh, swept up the forests, right? So, if, so they don't catch on fire. What else? What other infrastructure projects could you have done with that one hundred and fifty billion dollars? I don't know. Anyways, that's that. Illegal immigrant charged with rape of a five-year-old girl in Long Island. That's the point of this story. And remember, in a handful of days, you vote. You vote either for this or you vote against it. Um, I know what I would do if I could. Anyways, I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching this video. Do, do look for my other videos and um, follow me at Third Relify in all the places that I am. And uh, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye for now.